Hey guys, Jay here with Poodle Rim Shot. Um, I am driving. I won't be looking at the screen, the camera much. Uh, there's not much traffic, but I'm heading to work. I had the opportunity to work uh, for a, a band called the Party Crashers. And the drummer for the band, his name's Bobby, we spoke a little bit. Great guy, great drummer. Um, you know, we didn't have too, too much time, you know, so, you know, we just kind of touched on how the band came about and so forth. and. <clears throat> I do expect to work with them again, uh, hopefully soon. And, um, you know, maybe we can get a little bit more info. But I do want to give a shout out to the company I work for, Texas AVL. Uh, it was a good opportunity. It was a pleasure, uh, you know, doing that this, this past weekend. And their crew is great. Um, there's a gentleman, their sound engineer, uh, his name's Ryan. He's, he, he's a great guy. Uh, he knows his craft. It was very cool watching him work, um, you know, and, and it turns out um, we did a little homework with the help of my manager and it turns out that he's he's also a drummer. So I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll end up talking to him sometime and uh, see if time permitting, you know, we can do something. But um, anyhow, yeah, so uh, Party Crashers, before I let you guys go, Party Crashers, they get hired for weddings, um, parties, corporate events. I mean, whatever you want. I mean, you want to hire them for whatever, the, you know, you can, you know. It was a pleasure working with them, providing the drum backline, which was a uh, uh, DW Collector's uh, kit. And you guys will see it. Did a quick little rig rundown. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And then Bobby also, just so you guys can get a visual, he's got a, uh, we talked about a kit that he's got, a DW Collectors that's, uh, I believe it was gold, like a gold sparkle, which is cool. I'll try to find a picture just to put that on there, uh, just so y'all have a, a visual for, for those that haven't seen what yet, you know, but I know a lot of y'all drummers have. Um, so anyhow, um, yeah, hope hope you enjoy the footage. Again, I was working. Most of the footage is there from the from the side, alongside with Ryan, as you know, he was doing the sound. Um, so that's the angle that you're basically going to see. But you're going to see Bobby at work. Uh, it, it's pretty cool, and 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 he can sing. You know, you guys will see that. So anyhow, um, I'll let you guys go until next time. Right, keep rocking. So anyway, y'all take care. Bye. So here we are again, Poodle Rim Shot, coming at you from Fort Worth. We're in Fort Worth, right? Fort Worth today. And this is Bobby, Bobby James right here. He's the drummer to a cool band called the Party Crashers. Party okay. Crashers. Yeah, I've, I've done a little homework because again, this was, this was new to me, all right? But they seem to be hired, I, I guess, I, I don't want to necessarily say all over the world, but you guys were just in Italy. All over the world, yeah. Okay, so it's yeah, all yeah. over the world. Yeah. yeah, so they were just in Italy a couple weeks ago, maybe? Or? A couple weeks ago, yeah. yeah. And then you guys were in Phoenix earlier this week? Phoenix earlier this week. Dallas today. Where's our yeah. next gig? I, I don't even know. <laughs> well, we did sound check. We're going to go over the equipment just a little bit on the drum set that I'm backlining that Bobby's going to be using. Um, and you'll see that sound check. He's got great chops. Great chops. Now, I want to ask Billy, we're going to see more or less, like, how did, how did Party Crashers come about? Like, how did this Party band Crashers evolve? Party Crashers is kind of a best of other bands that kind of do similar things. Huh? So, but I I started with this band straight out of school. I I was lucky. I had some friends that I was playing with before I went to school. And then when I got back, um, they were like, hey, we're starting this band. And, and it just took off. Yeah, it just took off, luckily. Yeah, and it's been, it's been really good. We've been all over the place. and. Yeah. Played with all kinds of artists. I've done other things. Um, you know, while this band was getting started, I sure I was uh, the at the time there was this big uh, artist named David Archuleta. He just got off of American Idol back when American Idol was actually a thing. Oh, and, well, it, it's still yeah. a thing, but when it, when, when it, when it started, huge. yeah, when, when it, it was, was huge. huge, yeah, um, yeah. So we did that, um, and that's how I met the bass player in this band. He's from okay. David Archuleta, so. Cool. It's a small world. Yeah. yeah. But you guys, I mean, if you see the promo video of, of Party Crashers, it's awesome. There's one of where they show you guys in Vegas and we're in Vegas all the time. I it's mean, it's bigger events than we deserve. It's like a 
we do massive giant events with lasers and yes, crazy production and it's and it's they a do. lot of fun. It's a yeah. lot of fun. So you guys we're gonna we're gonna see clips of, of course we're gonna you know I'm gonna capture you know Bobby behind the kit. But I'm gonna get you know uh, some footage of the whole band because it's really a, a sight to see. I mean, very great, talented artists, all of them. It's great band. Um, so if you guys want to hire them, Party Crashers you're gonna Band. See Party Crashers Band. Yeah. yeah. So there'll be more to come. Bobby's got to get get going here. We're we're about yeah, to start, Santa. and we'll do a little uh, rig rundown in a bit. You guys will see that. You'll see what Bobby's gonna right. be bashing around right so stand by we'll be back Alright guys, so here we are. I'm behind the camera, but you can see Bobby here. Yeah. Alright, so um, let's go over this real quick here. I mean, it's yeah. a DW Collector's kit. And what do you think, Bobby? This one's killer, and I love the X shell. Uh, not egg shell, X shell. The so, X shell, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. the plies are kind of going... Rather than like this, they go like this, and I think that... Yeah, they have the, that crossed. Yeah, yeah they're crossed. I guess that it makes them lower because the tension is, is lower. Gotcha. Uh, which yeah. is amazing on all the drums, really. Yeah. Um, got a six and a half. I think this one's aluminum. Yeah, that one's aluminum. Yeah, these are killer. Um, 10, 14, 16. And there is a 12, but we're not using it tonight. Right, right. And then I like to do, this is kind of the area that's a little bit unique to me. I do one of these little stack symbols on the hi-hat, which... Nice. It just kind of adds a little more dirt to yeah. me, if that makes sense. Yeah. Which works really well for the, the pop stuff that we're doing. Yeah. And then I turn this one into a stack. Um, it's got one of these uh, holy splashes and then a regular splash on top of that. And then I usually just go a regular 18 inch crash and a 16 inch crash and, you know, gotcha. or whatever the backline company has. Yeah. And right. And, and today's choice of symbols, we're using the K's, uh, usually the, yeah. the dark series, I guess, the K custom dark. So you can see the crash there. Yeah. Custom uh, dark ride and another smaller custom dark crash yeah. there. And for the pop stuff, I usually do G2s just like this um, and always coded. Uh, for me, because you know, you never know when there's going to be brushed stuff. And, hey, let's yeah, see some brushes. and and you know what I was doing for you, Bobby? Yeah, at one thirty, two o'clock in the morning. Well, I got to say today, uh -huh. right? Yeah, Saturday. yeah, today. I was putting on those G twos. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and and the EMAD, right? Because yeah. Oh right, yeah. I mean that's. Yeah, I got to have the EMAD down there. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, take the these are cool. They have this little removable foam thing, if you can see. Yeah, you can't. It's out of focus. There it is. That's a little more. Yeah. They come with different sizes. So, so it's cool. It yeah. kind of muffles it a little bit. Yeah, it's a great sound. So. And then this, today, is a laptop stand. There's no... Yeah. This is a... <laughs> not actually This is a, an extra snare that's not going to be played. It's going to serve uh, as a little table there. Yeah. And and this snare is mine. It's a D-Drum dial series. Uh, zebra lacquered. I don't know. It's got like ten plies. It's cool. It's, a, man. it's cool. It's warm. It's fat. It's 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 nice. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Is Those that no solid? Plies. Is this a solid? I believe All so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cool. I think. Probably yeah. Know. I don't know. This is cool. Yeah. It's cool. Wow. And uh, this one I got in a shop uh, in San Antonio, uh, Jeff Ryder's drum shop. And I've mentioned. Okay. I've mentioned. Uh, I've mentioned Jeff Ryder before. That shop's really cool in San Antonio, guys. Oh, I so. think this is solid. That's yeah. awesome. Wow, no wonder why you like it so much. Yeah. That's a killer drum. It's, it's cool. Yeah, wow. that's a good one. Good laptop stand. And then, the, well, the 14s, right? You're using 14Ks, the, the darks. Yeah, 14s. On the hats. Uh, yeah, pretty standard stuff. And I always do this tambourine here. And I use this kind of as 
almost like a snare a lot of the times. Yeah. That's yeah. When when this you know a lot of this pop stuff you know there's not necessarily a snare it's either snaps yeah. or claps or something like that and I use, and I use the tambourine kind of in place of a snare a lot of the times. Yeah. Well, yeah. they're, they're, they're going to see it tonight. Yeah, you know, it's gonna be cool. so it's cool. So I guess we'll uh, we'll just wrap it up here. Oh no, you got to showcase your jacket. Oh well, yeah. yeah let's close it here with a jacket. Video. Check you this out. You have to have a jacket, and this one Look happens to be. That. What do you call it? A sequence or what is that? A sequence, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah I don't know. There you go. And here's a top tip: put a little taper in the edge. So it doesn't cut you. <laughs> huh? There's a little touring tip right yeah. there. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, again, Party Crashers. Y'all check them out. Yeah, and Party we'll, Crashers band. It's we'll be getting some live footage tonight in a little bit. So I'm going to let, awesome. let Bobby warm up yeah, and uh, see you at the show. we'll be good to go.
Sometimes I'm too stuck for